Hello everyone, this is Mystic Goddess with your general reading. So today we're going to see what and who is coming toward you in love for the near future. This reading is for everyone of every zodiac sign. Also feel free to switch the energies around as needed. All right, so I've meditated over the energy and I've shuffled the deck. So let's go ahead and get started. The overall energy for who and what is coming toward you in love we have a new person and we have a past person okay so when it comes to this past person this person is feeling the loss of you okay someone definitely did you wrong i feel as though this person hurt you very deeply okay and i feel like you guys have been focused on healing and some of you have healed from this person you've accepted things for what they were or what they are and you're ready for a new start I feel like this um, past person, they've gained some type of clarity in regards to you. I feel like they're realizing what you mean or what you meant to them. And for some of you, they want to communicate with you in regards to a new start. Okay. So for some of you, you're going to get a message from this person. And I feel as though it's because they've been thinking about you a lot. This person is in despair. I feel as though they're having a hard time in life. It's like they're losing... Um, stability okay they're losing hope for some of you they may have lost a job i feel like their financial situation is not the best okay but yeah they're thinking about you a lot and for some of you they're gonna reach out to you with a message but i feel as though it's going to be a little manipulative it's almost like they're gonna reach out to try to get you to try to see if you're still concerned about them so for example they may reach out and say hey i've been going through a rough time or you know they may reach out to you about something that's going wrong with them or something like that but i feel like they're going to try to see if you are if you still care about them okay that's crazy so yeah this past person is thinking about you a lot you guys already have clarity when it comes to this person there may have even been some truth that came to the light in regards to some things this person was hiding or about their manipulative or narcissistic character or ways about themselves okay but yeah they're thinking about you a lot and i see this past person is going to be reaching out to you because they're going to try to see if you're still interested or if they can rekindle things with you okay now on to the new all right on to the new new now when it comes to the new person, I feel as though this is someone that has also been hurt in the past, okay? They've been through a lot as well. And I feel as though you're going to be meeting this person within about the next, anywhere from now into the next five months if they haven't come into your life already, okay? I do see that this person is going to be a soulmate. They're going to want to court you. This is someone that you can have a very long lasting love with. This could be your end all be all. Okay. I feel like this person is going to be very pure. I'm not saying they're going to be perfect, but they're going to be genuine. Okay. I also feel like this new person is going to want to take you out on dates. They're going to want to spend time with you. They're going to be, they're going to want to be very close to you. Okay. So I see it good so far. But we do have message here in reverse. So when it comes to this, I feel as though either there's going to be blocks in communication with you and this pat with you and this new person. And what I mean by that is they may approach you and or they may, especially if you have social media, they may reach out to you and you may not, you know, message them back. Or you may be hesitant to indulge with this person or to put your energy or your time into this new connection okay now for others of you i feel as though when they meet you they may be a little hesitant to approach you okay they may be a little hesitant for some of you this is going to be a an, an older male or an older female okay this is someone that's very well respected in their community okay also i feel like for some of you the the new person may be a little hesitant when it comes to you okay 
depending on what you say to them. Because for some of you, it's like they may expect that you, or they may think that you may try to rekindle things with a past person, okay? So if you tell this new person about things that you've gone through in the past, they may be afraid that you may try to rekindle with an ex, all right? But they're going to be willing to put in the work with you. I also feel like after dealing with a false person, this ex, the person from your past, you're going to receive a, a blessing, a new love that comes into your life. And for some of you, it may be around Christmas, anywhere from now until Christmas, if this person hasn't already come in. All right. But I feel like whoever this new person is, they're going to be very far from childish. For some of you... um, you may have a child with this new person in the future, okay? If you're not able to have children or you don't want any more children, then I feel as though when it comes to this new person, like they're going to be very different from this childish ex that you dealt with, okay? For some of you, this new person could live at a distance from you. So also do keep that in mind. So let's see what else we have here. Now, I do feel as though some of you, this past energy is coming back out again. This ex is, because they're in despair, even if you're not thinking about them, they'll pop up in the reading. So just bear with me, okay? But yeah, some of you walked away from someone or they may have walked away from you. You guys are going to be walking into someone better, all right? I feel as though this past person or this ex, they like the stability that you provided them with. I feel like you were very stable in this person's life. They saw you as someone that would never go anywhere. And so they betrayed you numerous times, okay? They did. For some of you, they betrayed you while they were at work. They may have been dealing with coworkers or... Um, while they were at work, they were cheating with, you know, talking to someone over the phone that they were dealing with or something like that. There's something in regards to their work. For some of you, they would tell you they were at work when they really weren't. All right. Um, but yeah, after this painful ending, I do see a new beginning and love for you guys. So that's awesome. I feel as though this new person is going to be very genuine. It's going to be a very successful relationship. For some of you, this person is going to be at a distance from you. Okay. They may live at a distance. For others of you, this person may travel a lot. Like they may be the type that like to travel. They may, whatever work they do, it could involve traveling or something of that nature. Okay. But I see it being a very satisfying connection for you. And I see that there's going to be a lot of expansion. But you guys are you guys are definitely going to have a choice in regards to whether you want to rekindle things with this past person or whether you want to move on to new. The choice is yours, okay? I do feel like a lot of you are ready to put the past behind you. Whoever you were dealing with, um, the bond, it's just not there anymore. I feel like you've... You no longer have a soft spot for this ex, okay? So yeah, for some of you, you walked away from this person out of nowhere, okay? For others of you, they may have walked away from you out of nowhere. But I see that this past person is going to be pursuing you aggressively, all right? And it's all because they don't want things to end with you. I feel like you guys learned a lot of lessons, but Spirit is saying even though this person betrayed you, you're better off without them. I see a lot of success coming in for you guys. The new person, okay? This new person, they're going to be very much focused on you. They're also going to love to work, okay? Whatever they do for work, they're going to love it. OK, I also feel like they're going to put in the work to show you how much they love you, to show you affection, to show you attention, to show you that they're interested and focused on you. It's also going to be someone very much abundant. Like I said, they're a very hard worker. OK, this past person keeps trying to interrupt the reading. I wish they'd um, stand stand back or fall back. All right. Now, when this new person comes into your life, I feel as though it's going to put you guys in your head. You're not going to be sure about it. And I feel as though it's because of past hurts that you've gone through. I feel like you're going to be, um, you know, you're just not going to react or move on this new love very quickly. You're, you may want to take things slow and that's okay. 
For some of you, you're going to feel like this is too good to be true. Okay. Spirit is saying, be careful with whatever decision you make, because for some of you, it's like you can make a choice to look toward the future and expand and have um, a satisfying connection with someone new. Or if you do choose the past, you know, it's, it's going to be filled with illusions. But I also feel as though this choice between this new person and past person I feel like the past person is going to try to come with um, a facade, like trying to make you think that it's going to be different this time around or something of that nature, okay, when it's really not. Also, you guys are going to have a lot of different options in love, a lot of different options. And for some of you, you have people that are interested in you now, but you may not even be giving them the time of day. OK, I feel like you just don't want anyone wasting your time, but you have definitely gr grown cold towards someone from your past. You've left them out in the cold. For some of you, this person abandoned you. They may have even ghosted you. This past person is very cold. It's almost like they're just not the lovey-dovey type. OK, and they're definitely having financial issues for some of you. They may end up getting put out of a home, so they may need a place to live or either they're having money issues and they're they may be looking for someone to lean on for stability. OK, wow. So that was a lot. Let's see what else comes out. OK. So, yeah, you're going to have a past person. And a new person that's coming into your life. But I see that for a lot of you, you're going to choose to go with new, with the new person. All right. Give me more Holy Spirit in regards to what's coming toward everyone in love in the near future. What's coming toward everyone in love for the near future. Two more shuffles. All right, so let's see. All right, so we have the Nine of Swords here. So for some of you, I feel like after stressing over a connection, someone may have put you through anxiety or stress or something like that. You guys are going to be gaining peace, okay? Spirit is saying not to stress. Stress, stop rest okay some of you need to get more rest some of you are not sleeping well at night okay i also do see that um be careful of different options that try to come into your life because they see you as someone that's abundant or they see you as someone very stable. I feel like a lot of you are focused on yourself right now. You may be focused on home. You're focused on, you know, um, building yourself up, having something in life. Okay, so just be careful with people that come in trying to sell you a dream. Okay, be careful with that. The Queen of Swords just fell out on the floor in reverse, and I don't take cards off of the floor. I will also tell you that this um, past person, they're in a victim mentality, okay? They are in a victim mentality. It's like they're blaming you for things that went wrong. This person may even be bad talking about you, saying nasty things about you, okay? And it may be because they received some type of karma. Also, for some of you... Um, like I said, you, you may have ended things or they ended things with you and now they're wanting to make things right, okay? But yeah, after a painful ending, I see a lot of happiness. Your life is going to transform and spirit is on your side. They're saying that everything's going to work out in your favor, all right? But yeah, there's someone, this past person, they just keep trying to... They keep trying to interrupt the reading and it's because they're stressed. So if you catch yourself all of a sudden thinking about this past person out of nowhere, you're feeling their energy because they are stressed and pressed when it comes to you. OK, give me more Holy Spirit for what's coming for everyone in love. So we have the tower and that came out crossing. So for some of you, there may be some news that comes in out of nowhere. There may be some 
you know what? Thank you, Spirit, for clarification. For some of you, this new love is going to come into your life out of nowhere, okay? And it's going to completely change things for you. I see this tower as a good thing, okay? It's something that's coming in for you after you've released burdens, this burden of a past person. I feel like some of you... Um, you have been isolating yourself from or doing away with anything or anyone that causes you stress or burdens, okay? And you're focusing on your happiness. And with the hermit being here along with the sun card, you're going to find it, okay? You're definitely going to find happiness. Give me more Holy Spirit about this, um, this tower. Give me more about the tower. Thank you. See, I told you. I think it's a good thing. The tower, um, there's going to be a shakeup. I feel like when this new love comes into your life, you're not going to know how to take it for some of you because this person's going to come off as too good to be true for some of you. Like the love is going to be very strong between the both of you, but it's going to be a spiritual connection. Okay, I feel as though the two of you are going to be lovers and friends. I do also see that you're going to have your guard up because you've been put through so much. But Spirit is saying that this is going to be a very harmonious union. Okay, it's going to be a harmonious union. I also feel like um, when it comes to you guys... After this new person comes in, like I said, I see this past person that you've ended things with still trying to come in and offer to you as a knight because they're going to see you happy. It's almost like they're not going to want you to be happy. Okay. For some of you, the new person that comes in, they may be um, a cancer. For some of you, it could be an Aries or a water sign. Okay. For some of you, it could be an earth sign as well. Taurus, I also see Taurus and Libra here and air. But you're going to have a lot of different suitors um, that are pursuing you aggressively. But spirit just wants you to be careful because for some of you, these people are not who they claim to be. You will know when the new person for you comes in because there's going to be there's definitely going to be an age gap between the two of you. Okay. There's going to be an age gap. They may own a business. They could be a manager or a supervisor. I saw this in another collective reading that I did, I want to say yesterday. They're going to be very loving, very nurturing, okay? And they're going to love to work. That's another way you will know. They're going to love to work. Give me more, Holy Spirit. Thank you. So we have the King of Wands in reverse. See, this past person is going to come in trying to talk to you and they still haven't changed. They're also going to, they're going to, when you get into this new relationship, your ex, they're going to, it's almost like they're going to try to win you over. They're very narcissistic and very much a player with the King of Wands in reverse. They're a huge cheater. And like I said, they're going to be coming to you wanting stability. For some of you, don't be surprised if they reach out needing money or something like that. It's like when someone new comes into your life, they're going to try to message you. They're going to try to get back together with you. But I feel like a lot of you are closing out the cycle because you don't want the drama. Okay? You don't want the drama. So, yeah, those of you that have been holding back, Spirit is saying you're doing the right thing when it comes to holding back from this past person. They are manipulative. And at the same time, a lot of you have a marriage or a very strong spiritual union coming in for you. And it's going to take off. It's going to be very successful. And for a lot of you, it's going to change your life. Okay. It's like this, this past person that you walked away from, you're going to walk right into wish fulfillment. Okay. So definitely focus on healing. Spirit is saying don't even give this past person your um, time and energy, okay? Definitely don't help them out financially. I'm not saying that you would. I'm just saying, okay? Um, but yeah, there's also going to be, um, once this past person finds out the, about this new love, it's like they're going to try to offer to you, but I see you being uninterested. They wasted enough of your time. This person is extremely toxic, very toxic. So spirit wants you to move forward. It's like, don't crawl back in the hole that you've 
um, climbed out of. Okay? By going back to this past person. Now, you do what you want to do, but, at, but Spirit is just giving you messages for what's of your highest good. All right? So, I see someone new coming in. I see a past person. And like I said, this new person may be a water sign. It could be a Leo. Um, I see Scorpio here as well as Virgo. There's some fire. Aries. I also see Earth. For some of you, a little bit of air. Taurus as well. And Libra. Okay? Sagittarius for some of you. But yeah, it's up to you what you decide to do. All right? But I do see that you're going to be very happy um, with this new person that comes into your life. And from the looks of it, if everything goes as expected or everything flows smoothly, it looks like they'll be coming in within the next five months. Okay? They may come in within the next five months. But do keep in mind the choices that you make. We all have free will. So the choices that you make will determine when this new person comes in. Okay? Just watch out for people that are trying to sell you dreams because you're going to have a lot of different suitors. But you'll know when the new person comes in, the one that is right for you, because for some of you, they're going to be older. They may own their business or they're going to be a hustler, but they're going to make good money. They're also going to be very loving, kind and gentle, but they're not going to play about you. They're going to be very serious and they're going to take their emotions for you very seriously. They're also going to... um once they once the two of you get comfortable with each other as the relationship progresses they're going to be very affectionate okay this is someone that's going to let you know how much they love you and they're going to love to work they're going to love what they do for work and they're going to love to work okay so that's how you'll know all right, so everyone, that is the reading. If you guys resonated with this or if you liked this type of reading, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you as a part of the Mystic family. And definitely hit that notification bell so that you'll receive an alert whenever I post messages from Spirit to you. I love each and every one of you guys so, so much. You take care. Be safe. Until next time, bye.